Marco C's design. Problem over collapsed. Isabella Bridge. Is he correct? Let's find out. Here is the Kabagan Bridge in Isabella, Philippines. Let's uh, make a quick analysis of the causes of its collapse. As you can see in our screen, see the the deck framing of this bridge is uh, composed of composite uh, steel framing and concrete uh, decking. The weird thing that I had uh, observed on this framing is the transverse beams. These transverse beams are bigger in section sizes than this longitudinal beam. This is why which makes me initially conclude that this framing is arc supported bridge. I will tell you that about later. But uh, as per uh, what I have been hearing, they are saying that this arc bridge is the arch is designed only for aesthetics, meaning the arc is not a load carrying of this bridge and the vertical member elements are part of aesthetics. When you say aesthetics, it does not carry any structural component on a major scale. So it can take something but primary. It, will not. it is basically taking minor. So let's analyze this beam as it is without any support from the vertical member. Then simply put, we will analyze this as a simple supported beam meaning it will be supported on both ends only it will be supported here and here simple supports and the rest this is just unsupported span 60 meter long okay let's analyze continue let's apply a load here basically the load of this bridge in simple analysis we have the self weight meaning the weight of the framing the steel and the concrete deck and then we have a live load, which is a truck load, moving load. In this case, I applied something like uh, 35 tons gross on the full width of the beam of the bridge. Well, that is very small comparing to what they're saying. The truck load is already 100 ton on one line, one lane only, meaning in case uh, we have two trucks passing side by side, we have a double load that will be 200 ton. Anyway, this is what they're saying which I don't, I don't believe actually, 100% that's not true. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we will not go much uh, into the process of analysis detail. Let's just check now what is the result. Considering the combined load of uh, cell point plus the truck load plus uh, some factors and what will and be the effect. Oh, see that? Immediately, we can say that this bridge is not designed as a simply supported beam. You see, the stresses are all red on the beams. It failed. It cannot pass as a simple supported deck frame. Which uh, make us conclude now that this is really designed as an arc supported uh, bridge. Meaning, the support is coming from the ends of the bridge framing both ends and those vertical members connected to the arc and the arc carries that vertical member and that's how it should be okay let's analyze now with the, this framing the same framing with a vertical member we, are, we will not be modeling the arc now because uh, it doesn't matter now what we seen is the in the picture photos are the failure of this vertical member not the arc itself so we'll just uh, add the model of these vertical members and let's see what will happen. Now what you will see is the same framing but now we added the model, the members of these vertical members. And it is uh, connected on the top. Here we analyze this as a pin connected. And basically this is terminating connecting to the arc. And we're, as, as I have said earlier, we're not going to model the arc. It is irrelevant on this case, quick analysis case now. Okay, so let's run this with the same loading, the, the dead load, self weight, plus the same truck loading that we considered earlier, applied here near the mid span, which is around 35 ton. Okay, let's run the analysis and I will show you what is the result. 
And what we are doing now is to, we had run the analysis already and I will show you what is the impact on the strength, structural strength of this bridge. The load uh, is again the dead load, self weight, plus the applied uh, truck load which is 35 metric ton, combination of these two, plus the sum factors as required by the code. And you will see what's happening now. Did you see that? I can see that this is already passing technically but we have high stresses on the transverse girders on the mid span because of that apply the truck load here see on this span so this is it looks correct they are saying this is a light uh, capacity bridge only but the main philosophy of the structural framing is this is an arc supported bridge meaning this deck bridge deck is uh, supported by the arc and the load carrying mechanism of that arc is through these vertical members okay now we are about to conclude uh, our uh, quick uh, finding on how, how why did this bridge collapse let's say for example as we are saying again i'm saying again this is connected through these vertical members what if these vertical members due to overloading break its connection from the arc or either from the bottom so what will happen we have to remove these co support connections and let's see what will happen to the bridge when one or two let's say two of this connection is eliminated eliminated from the analysis that will simulate the loss of support and then let's see what will be the outcome we're now going back to the model that we had uh, run this model analysis analysis model where is whereas the middle vertical members was deliberately removed the support connection and let's see what happened considering the applied load com checking with the applied combined load again and what will be the stresses oh wow see that because of the loss of support on these vertical members you see the stresses on the decks already it's already failing the beam stresses are almost three times the allowable 2.9 wow it failed meaning what we can conclude now is there is a failure of connection in this vertical member from the arc or from the bottom which is evidently we can see from the photos i will show you some photos later just we'll just wrap this up these vertical members failed in this connection from the arc or from the bottom from the deck girder or either way or both and by one losing since the truck is traveling it becomes a domino effect this because this is the next uh, adjacent vertical members become overstressed again as the truck moves and then they snap and then they snap until because of the dynamic effect the vibration the overloading factor of the dynamic all these remaining straps i mean the remaining uh, vertical connection stops and what we are seeing now the bridge collapsed totally on this span why now there are people asking why did the other span did not fail well we can easily conclude that because of all these connections are individually constructed now i can see that maybe the design was uh, okay the detailing was designed but during construction the embedment of this connection the termination to the arc or the connection through the bottom snap maybe due to under design obviously they're saying this bridge is not designed for such heavy load and uh, yeah the bridge is lightly designed for a light loading and they pass the truck through it then what you'll see somewhere along between there will be weak links in the chain this is what we're saying on the chain the, the weakness of the chain is through its, its weakest link this is like a connection of chains all just a uh, it's just so sad that at this span the, the truck find its weakest link and it, the connection snaps and colors that's it the bridge fell on this span 
But I don't know, maybe the other spots are already overstressed and we don't know. It might again fail if they pass again the same similar heavy loads. So they must, they must implement now that the bridge must be allowed to traverse only by light load or otherwise they will have to build the strong retrofitting for this bridge to be able to carry this uh, heavier load. I don't know. Let them decide that on how to do that later. Okay. That's it. That's our conclusion. Failure of a structure or of a chain is always dictated, guided by its weakest link. In this case, the weakest link is the connections of these vertical elements. It's snap. It's snap here on the bottom. Some snaps on the top. Even pulled out from the arc. I can see in the photo. Pulled out. No area. Anywhere in between. That's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you get enlightened by how this bridge has collapsed. To summarize, this bridge is really, really designed for light load only. Light traffic load only. And that's it. Have a good day.